I'd like to commence this video with a request. For those interested in receiving more premium betting tips and predictions, especially if my guidance has contributed to your success in winning bets and generating revenue, I kindly seek your support in revitalizing this channel. Your assistance plays a crucial role in bolstering my presence on YouTube. You're welcome to explore my Patreon support tier or check out my various plans. Multiple plans are available for each and every one of you seeking our premium picks. You can find the link in the bio and comment section below. Thank you for considering and supporting me. Rangers vs. Rockies My team pick is Rangers Moneyline the Rangers have won four of their previous five games versus the Rockies, including a three-game sweep in Texas last May. Texas tattooed the ball throughout last year's series, scoring seven runs or more in each game. Colorado pitchers have produced a bloated 7.36 ERA and 1.79 whip against Rangers hitters since the 2022 season. The Rangers' offense ranks in the top 10 in several key categories this season, including 7th in batting average. Adding to Colorado's woes in this contest, their pitching staff ranks at the bottom of the league in Team ERA with 5.42, so look for the Rangers to be in scoring position throughout the contest. The Rockies rank in the bottom half of the league in multiple offensive categories this season, so they may lack the firepower to mount a comeback on the road if they find themselves down early. The Rockies have failed to win a series away from their home stadium this year. Texas has won four of their previous six contests overall and five of seven away from their home stadium. The stats and trends strongly support a comfortable Rangers victory in Texas Sunday. Take the Rangers. My total pick is over. Five of the last six matchups between these two squads have gone over the run total, with 41 runners crossing the plate during their three-game set in Texas last May. Texas batters have scored six runs or more against Colorado pitching in five of their previous six. The Rockies pitching staff ranks dead last in the league in Team ERA, so Texas should have ample opportunity to put runs on the board throughout Sunday's contest. Both teams' pitchers rank in the bottom half of the league in home runs allowed, so both squads will have their chances to score quickly in bunches. The Rangers are ranked in the top 10 in batting average and slugging percentage, so look for them to add a significant amount of runs to the total. Texas has gone over the run total in four of their last five games, and they scored over 12 runs twice this week. The Rockies have gone over the run total in two of their last three. Colorado starter Hudson has an ERA over 6 so far this season. Most signs point to a higher scoring affair in Texas on Sunday. Take the over. Reds vs. Giants. My team pick is Giants. The Cincinnati Reds have been dreadful as they are 3-10 in their last 13 games and this is a chance for the San Francisco Giants to take advantage. There is a major difference between how these starting pitchers have been performing this season as Frankie Montes is 1-1 with a 7.04 ERA and a .276 opposing batting average in two road starts while Kyle Harrison is 0-0 with a 3.38 ERA and a .254 opposing batting average in his five road games this year. These teams are not doing well, but the San Francisco Giants seemingly have the advantage and should be able to pull out the victory in this game as the better option to end the three-game series. My total pick is under 7.5 runs. On Saturday, these teams combined for six runs, and that was with four of those being scored in the first inning. These offenses have been dreadful throughout the 2024 season thus far as the Reds are 26th in the majors with a .651 team OPS while the Giants are not too far ahead at 23rd with a .673 team OPS right now. Both teams have been pitching relatively well throughout the previous 30 days as Cincinnati is 12th in the majors with a 3.83 team ERA while San Francisco is 20th with a 4.26 team ERA in that stretch. All of the stats are pointing towards under 7.5 runs being the better bet here. Royals vs. Angels My team pick is Angels The Royals will start Seth Lugo in the finale of this four-game series with the Halos. Lugo pitched well last week in a start against the Brewers, allowing three runs on six hits and a walk over 6.2 innings. 
he struck out five. According to Yahoo.com, Lugo got just five missed swings, but he wound up with five strikeouts anyway. Back-to-back -back homers from Reese Hoskins and Joey Ortiz in the second inning accounted for most of the damage. After that, however, Lugo retired nine straight batters and kept the Brewers off the scoreboard until the seventh inning. He was set up for his sixth win of the season with the Royals up 5-3 heading into the ninth, but the Brewers ended up winning the game on a walk-off homer. Lugo has pitched at least six innings in seven of his eight starts, and he's gone into the seventh five times. He comes into this matchup with the Angels holding a sparkling 1.60 ERA and 1.03 whip. As a team, the Royals are playing well and hold a 24-16 record heading into the third game of this series. Patrick Sandoval was straddled with several tough luck starts over the first month. Last week, it came together for the Southpaw as he dominated the Pirates over seven innings. He registered a tremendous 34% whiff rate and 37% CSW. He held a 5.91 ERA before the game, but that was due to bad luck. As a team, the Angels are not playing well, but Sandoval is a key piece for their rotation, and if he can string together several strong starts, the Angels can get a good return if they decide to trade him. Seth Lugo has pitched at least six innings in seven of his eight starts, and he's gone into the seventh five times. I expect both pitchers to dominate, and for this to end as a low-scoring game with the Angels coming out on top. Take the Angels. My total pick is under 8.5 runs. Southpaw Patrick Sandoval will start for the Angels in the finale. Last week, he threw seven shutout innings in a win over the Pirates, allowing just three hits and striking out seven. Coming off a 10 strikeout performance in a tough luck loss during his last start, Sandoval completely owned the Pirates' bats Tuesday while continuing to strike out batters at a notable clip. Following his dominant outing, he still sits at a 4.85 ERA and 1.49 whip through eight starts, but he has enough positive momentum. According to Yahoo.com, he had also allowed a career-low barrel rate while registering a career-high strikeout rate. That positive regression happened last week as he registered a tremendous 34% whiff rate and 37% CSW, called strike plus whiff rate. All his pitches performed well, but his changeup and slider were particularly sharp in the outing. He has a 4.85 ERA and 1.49 whip heading into this next start. Entering play Saturday, the Angels hold a tough 14-25 record and will be without Mike Trout for at least the next few months. They are giving up the fourth most runs in the majors. The Royals allow the fewest runs per game in the majors. Seth Lugo will take the mound, and he has been a dominant force this season. Lugo pitched well last week in a start against the Brewers, allowing three runs on six hits and a walk over 6.2 innings. He comes into this matchup with the Angels holding a sparkling 1.60 ERA and 1.03 whip. The total has gone under in six of Kansas City's last nine games on the road against the Halos. Over their last 10 games against Los Angeles, the Royals are averaging 3.80 runs per contest. Sandoval and Lugo will pitch well and this game will go under. Take the under.